If you have a white mesh drum head, can you dye this into a different color, like black, blue, whatever color you want? Can you change the color of this, or will it wear off after like just a day of playing? My answer to that's coming up. What's up guys, Justin Greenholt here. Welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things e related, so consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Not that long ago, I did a video on how to remove logos from your mesh drum heads. This is the mesh drum head that I removed the logo from. It's a two-ply ZED mesh drum head. Someone said, hey, can you dye this so it's like black or something? Can you change the color of a mesh drum head if you want to? And I really don't know. So I've got some black dye right here. This is the kind that you use for like clothing or whatever. It's an all-purpose black dye. See if it changes the color. And then I'm going to play it for a little bit and see if any of it comes off right away. I'm not going to be playing this for like a, a solid week because this is not a good mesh drum head. This is more of like a throwaway mesh drum head for me because it's not completely a perfect circle. I just thought it would be an interesting video to see if you can actually dye this or whether or not it wouldn't actually take. And then I wanna put some wear into it to see if it will stay black after I play it for a little bit when it dries. Before I go dye this black, I wanted to mention something really quick. In that video on how to remove logos from your mesh drum heads, I used bleach to remove the ZED logo from this guy. And someone replied in the comments and said, hey, I used nail polish remover and it worked for me. It just took a lot of scrubbing. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's definitely worth mentioning in the new video. So if bleach doesn't work, or if you don't wanna mess with that and accidentally you know, bleach your clothes, try using nail polish remover, because apparently that works. Also wanted to mention that a guy that watched the video tried bleaching his mesh drum head. It was a drum tech real feel model. I believe that was the exact kind of mesh drum head he had. And he said bleach did not work for his particular situation. One other thing, if you have a one ply mesh drum head, I don't really think it's worth dyeing it a different color. So for example, this is a Remo Silent Stroke. It's a one ply, you can see right through it, even though it's a white mesh drum head. Here is a black mesh drum head. This is a one ply uh, pearl muffle head. So no matter what color you wanna dye your mesh drum head, if it's a one ply, you'll see right through it. And you can still kind of see through a two ply. Three plies are a little bit better. It just depends on the weave of the mesh. Roll on mesh drum heads, go e drum mesh drum heads. They're, they're knitted so tight that you can't see through it at all. So it all depends on the weave, whether or not the dyeing process will actually do anything for you. So I'm interested to see how this works out. I'm soaking that mesh drum head right now with one package of dye. It's like this powdered material as you just saw. Now, after I put it in there, actually before I put it in there, I realized, oh crap, I'm supposed to use two packages for a really dark color. That's what the direction said. And I only had one package of dye handy. So I went to Walmart and went and got a couple more packages of dye. This is from the brand Tulip. Never heard of this, but it was at Walmart, so I got that. And I'm still suspicious that it won't work. So I also got something else from Walmart. This is uh, Color Shot, instant fabric color. So basically what you do is it's a spray paint designed for fabrics. I know mesh drum heads aren't necessarily a fabric, but the material mesh drum heads are used um, sometimes they're used in like coats and stuff, maybe. So if I strike out with the color dye and it just doesn't work, I can try this as a last resort and see if this does the job. So it's been leaking out of the bag. I was hoping the dye wouldn't do that. I thought the bag would keep it all in, but there is a little bit of leaking. So let's see if this has changed color at all. This was with one, one box of color dye start rinsing this off a little bit, see. So yeah, unfortunately, as I suspected, one package of dye did not make it black. So this is like a purple, actually. Let me uh, point this towards a darker surface so you can see. That is definitely a purple. Sort of like a, if you've ever used a Sharpie marker, it's actually like a really, really dark purple dye that's inside of one of those Sharpie markers. And that's what this color dye was. So I'm gonna have to go to plan number two, which is this instant fabric color spray paint stuff. So I'm gonna spray this on and hopefully this will do the trick. 
And if that doesn't do the trick, maybe I'll try to do two packages of fabric color and dye it again like, like I should have in the first place. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Say hello to my front yard. So, got this dirt patch right here. I think this is as good a, a place as any. Okay, so that stuff 100% worked. It's kind of hard to see like this, but when you hold it against like a darker surface, it is a really deep black. So this stuff definitely worked better than one pouch of dye used for clothing. That's only half the battle though. We wanna see if this will chip off while playing. I did use a little bit too much. I used so much of this stuff that it kind of got trapped in between the squares of mesh. So. I used too much, maybe some of that will fall out while I'm playing it. But I just wanted to see, will this stuff get on my drumsticks or will it just you know, chip away and become white again in certain spots like the center where I hit a lot. That's gonna be testing to do tomorrow and we'll see what happens. All right, so it's been magically two days later. So this thing is dry. If I wanted to be ultra careful, I'd probably want to give it another day to really seep into the mesh. But I think 48 hours is more than enough. So I'm gonna do a durability test now where I'm just gonna hit this repeatedly with some drumsticks. I wanna see if this will chip off and uh, if it'll come off onto the drumsticks or what, I wanna know what's gonna happen. So let's see. Okay, so I don't know if the drumsticks were turning black because of these pockets of paint that were being trapped between the squares of the mesh, or if it's just because it's all leaching onto the sticks or not. So in this next test, I'm just going to play right here where there's not really much paint that's trapped in between the squares. This is kind of a clean area where I actually painted it correctly. And we'll see if I get any paint on my drumsticks when I just play in this perfect area right here. Okay, so unfortunately, yes. Using that fabric spray paint stuff is a bad idea because even when you go to the part where you spray painted it correctly, if you rub your drumstick on it, it's still gonna get black. What I'm gonna do now is try one more time using dye with a drum head. This time I'm going to be using a three-ply uh, ZED mesh drum head. This is a 16 inch and I'm gonna use two packages of dye and see if that's enough to turn it completely black. Okay, so it's 9.30 a.m. I've waited overnight so that the stain can really seep into the mesh drum head. And so I knew it was working because my hands actually got dyed black. This is the result of me scrubbing my hands for about um, 30 minutes trying to get the stain out. So I knew it was working on the mesh drum head, woke up this morning, went downstairs, and rinsed off the mesh drum head. This is the result. It is completely unscathed. It's not really worth the hassle. Just go buy a black mesh drum head in the first place. The reason why I kept dragging this video out was because I wanted to have a happy ending. I hate leaving videos on a down note, but I hope someone somewhere enjoyed this. See you guys in a few.